It is time once again to predict for another race. This time it is the British Grand Prix. Now, if you want to get involved in this series, then make sure to follow that link that is in the top line of the description to get your predictions in. However, before we get on into my predictions and my entry into this weekend's Grand Prix, we are gonna go over the results for the Canadian Grand Prix that was two weeks ago. A huge congratulations goes to Ritaraj83 for scoring 32 points, having taken one of their boosts. Then I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the person that is in second place scoring 26 points, also taking one of their boosts, but they head a small little group with Jess392, Zana Level, and Daniel B, all really, really close to one another. But very interestingly, I think for the first time ever, Evan Darcy is actually at the bottom of the leaderboard. Our current championship leader only scored six points for the Canadian Grand Prix. But if we just take a look at some of the stats for this weekend, the most accurate qualifying set of predictions came from Scott Hilland, actually getting the front row spot on for Stappen and Alonso. Now just to note, any driver on this screen that is highlighted in yellow is sometimes incorrect. The yellow is supposed to highlight the drivers that are uh, correct within the top five, but not in the right place. However, it doesn't quite work. Uh, this is more of a formatting issue. The scoring is not affected. The most accurate race set of predictions came from Zana Level, with Verstappen, Sainz, Russell and Leclerc all in the correct place. And they then ended up with the most accurate weekend set of predictions. And taking a look at some of the correct bold statements for this weekend, we didn't again actually have any of the low risk statements come true. But there were quite a few of the high risk statements and then a few of the medium risk statements. And so totaling everything up for the season so far, we do have Evan Darcy just breaching the 200 point mark on 204, but they have one of their boosts remaining with Daniel B now moving up to second on 179, but very, very closely followed by Hassan MSH, Joshua ZA, and also Jess392. There is then of course a second half to this leaderboard all the way down to 90 in individual entrance in this series, which is absolutely awesome. So if you see yourself anywhere on this leaderboard, a big, big congratulations goes to you. But with all of that out of the way, let us now jump on in to the British Grand Prix Audience Prediction Championship. So how exactly does this series work? By following that link in the description down below, you'll be asked for your top five for qualifying, your top five for the race, the driver of the day, and then one bold encompassing statement. Now for a full list of the rules regarding this series, there is a rules document in the description down below, but the main few are you're only allowed to make one submission to this link and the submissions close right up until the beginning of qualifying. So the moment the green light starts in qualifying, I won't be accepting any submissions after that. So if you want to predict now, like myself, well before practice, by all means do so, but if you want to wait until the end of practice one, two or three, then get your predictions in then. There is then of course a scoring system that goes along with this, you'll receive two points for a driver in the correct position inside your top five for qualifying, and one point if they are correct, but in the incorrect position. Very similarly is scored for the race, however you receive three points if they're in the correct position, two points is awarded for the driver of the day, and then the bold statement comes in three levels of risk. Low risk statements are rewarded two points, medium risk five, and high risk 10 bonus points. And then new for this season is actually a boost option. You have five chances to boost your score for a race weekend. If you choose to take one of these boosts, you will receive two times the score for that weekend balance. But remember, you only get five of these chances per year, and then again, you have to make this decision before the Grand Prix starts. So with all of those rules and regulations out of the way, make sure to follow the link in the top line of the description to get involved in this prediction championship. But with all of that out of the way, let us now jump on into my set of predictions for this weekend's Grand Prix, and we start with my top five for qualifying. And for pole position, I've gone for Max Verstappen. Second place joining him on the front row is going to be Charles Leclerc, and then comes Sergio Perez. Once again, I just feel that the Red Bull is definitely the car of the season so far, and is much stronger than the Ferrari in terms of actual raw pace 
sort of everywhere basically so I feel like Verstappen is quite easily going to run away with this weekend. Leclerc is definitely going to be there and so is Perez. We know that Perez is really really comfortable in this car and has been able to outperform Max but I don't think he's going to be able to do it this weekend. Then in P4 I've gone for Lewis Hamilton and P5 Fernando Alonso. Lewis Hamilton I feel like is a very easy solid safe bet to go into the top five for qualifying as it's Silverstone, he always pulls out something special at Silverstone. Yes, the car is crap and it's not very good, but it's Lewis Hamilton at Silverstone. Those two just go hand in hand and I do feel like he could pull out something pretty special. And then from my top five for qualifying, we'll jump on into the top five for the race. And for the Grand Prix victory, it is again Max Verstappen. I feel like I've said this for quite a lot of my predictions for this year, but P2... I've actually gone for Lewis Hamilton. Now that I think is a little bit of a highball. And then in P3, I've gone for George Russell, keeping up his insane top five finishing record and scoring another podium. Then for P4, I've gone for Charles Leclerc and P5, Sergio Perez. I am British and I'm going to predict the British people on the podium. I haven't gone full bore and said that a British guy is gonna win, but I would love to see the two Mercedes on the podium even though it's probably not going to happen. And then just in case this race top five goes absolutely sideways for me, I've gone for a low risk bold statement, and that is that a Red Bull, either of them, will score a podium for this weekend. And there we go, there are my predictions for the British Grand Prix all done and dusted. Make sure to follow that link in the top line of the description if you would like to get involved in this series. If you've got any questions regarding it, let me know in the comments down below. And then also what you thought of my predictions. Now I do have to give a huge shout out to Sue Dawson and also to Elliot Crosson for their continued support towards my channel over on Patreon. If you feel like my content is worthy of your financial support, then there are a range of options down in the description below. Any form of financial support from yourself towards me is really, really greatly appreciated and you will receive a shout out at the end of the videos. So once again, a huge thank you goes to Sue Dawson and to Elliot Crosson for their support over on Patreon. But that is all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video with whatever and whenever I decide to make it. I'll see you guys then.